Texas is known for its big style, open lands, and rich agriculture. But one thing most people don't know is that there's a prehistoric creature lurking in the rivers here. And today, we're going to try to catch one. The fish we're looking for today is part of a prehistoric family that appeared in the Jurassic era over 240 million years ago. Although most members of its family are extinct, the heavily armored body, tooth-filled mouth, and air-breathing traces of the fish ancestors live on. I'm talking about the American Gar. This species has a few members. The long nose, the spotted, the short nose, and the biggest of them all, the alligator gar with a max length of six and a half feet and a max weight of over a hundred pounds. There's definitely a nice selection to choose from, but if there's one thing for certain, nothing is ever promised in fishing. Well guys, we officially made it. It is a pretty promising looking pocket as you can see a large flow of water coming right into this stagnant kind of area. There's two little pockets right here where this dam naturally separates the water and honestly this is pristine areas for catfish and big areas for big uh, big fish honestly the only type of fish that can survive out here are your bigger ones that can you know kind of move with that current and fight up against it and still feed where they need to be so pretty excited right now it looks pretty damn juicy big shout out to our boy Bryce getting us out here and uh, yeah now, now that we are officially here it took us about 30 minutes to get out here in one hell of a hike we're gonna get fishing see if we can get going enough talking let's get after it Talking about the setups real quick, I got the Cast King Speed Demon with a Royal Legend 2 spin reel. I'm going to be kind of keeping this classic and trying to stick to top water on this. I might have to swap out, Jesus Christ, there's a bee. Uh, I might have to swap out and go with like uh, some crappie setup or something else a little bit later on. I'm just going to kind of test it out with this thing and, and have this as my casting setup. Um, I did bring a big beefy boy, the Spirelli, with the Cat Spin 300. Uh, this is going to be our catfish or gar combo hopefully if we catch something big out there i got a nice stout four-aught hook and then we got this inline little sinker that is actually meant for saltwater fishing but it uh it also allows us to not get hung up on anything it kind of just rolls through and uh, it, it just makes it a little bit easier when you're fishing areas like this um, on top of that we have the speed demon cast king setup with the royal legend gt bait caster and uh, this is going to have a little um, slide jig setup. Uh, this, I'm not sure, I might put a, a live crawfish on it, I might put some sort of bait. Uh, we might even just put like a little worm on there and kind of just flip it around and mess around with it. But the main purpose today is just try to see what's out here and try to see what we can catch. So I'm just gonna use these three setups to kind of adjust and adapt and see what the hell's in the water out here. So now that you guys know the name of the game, let's get out there and start fishing it. They're feisty in here, huh? Look at this guy. Live crawfish, that's what we're using today for our bait. That's some big old live crawfish right here. These things should definitely attract some nice fish. Look at this guy, he looks pretty feisty. Look at him, Bryce, he's ready to fight, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, Larry over here is trying to run away from us. I'm gonna get my hook right. How do you hook a crawfish that's live? I've never actually hooked a live crawfish. Like, just plain and simple, probably, like, through their tail tail. Uh, I usually, yeah, depends on how you're, like, where you're rigging on. I think mine's gone. Ah! You you? Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I had him like straight and then he just turned and like came at me like a scary freaking movie, man. Oh my goodness. That was just me being a freaking baby. Does it hurt when they pinch you this size? I don't think so, but... <laughs> oh. I mean, you just heard me scream when he just looked at me, so let's not try it right now. We'll try it later on. Where are you at? Over there? Okay. I think that was perfect. Yeah, that's it. That's all you need. Yeah, it's on bottom. All right. And then I can just put my rod like right here. I'm gonna put my rod down real quick while I look for a little stick to hold a little rod notch like this. And we're gonna use this little V to hold our rod straight up in the air. Well, that stick was a lot shallower than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I mean, I got my spin rod too, where I can try out real quick across the pond. 
As temperatures rise throughout the day, oxygen levels decrease in the water. Guards tend to surface during these times and utilize their unique air breathing abilities. A key time for us to strike. Yeah, it looks like a little leopard gar. He's got babies all around him. There's fry all around him. Oh, yeah, that might eat. Yes. Oh, yes. my God. Yes. Yep, yep, yes. yep. I saw that yes. coming. Yes, yes. Well, guys, there was a guard just patrolling right in front of us, and I said, you know what? I'm going to give him what I typically know what gar like. That is a pencil bait or a spook bait, and I just hit it with a bunch of shad scent before it actually went in there. So it's definitely got the flavor that he will like. He did not uh, pop up after that first strike, though. So I'm going to kind of just rest, leave this on the side. It might be our little gar setup, to be honest. Let's do this again. I'm going to try to throw it right in front of him and then not hook myself. Oh, he got it. Oh, he had it. He had it. At first, he freaked out because something popped on top of him, and then he actually took it. Let's see if we can get him to bite again. That was a reaction strike out of him. That's the second car I've got to pop at this thing. I think hooks are too big. Jesus Christ, I caught someone else's line in the tree. And that's how we got a new bobber. Oh my God, I almost freaking slipped into the water. The things I do for fish, bro. I'm over here like falling in the freaking mud. <laughs> they were over, they were right here. There's one more over there and oh, there's one right here. I, I, I tried to miss your rod and I stepped on the lure. Ah, oh, I got Is it in salt you? water needles on my shoe. Hold on, hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming. Help me. You're good. All right, thank you. You're good. Hold it, hold it. All right, this, is, and now my rod's caught on this, all right. What is going on? Now there's like four gar over here. Here goes nothing. Oh, he came in nose. He rubbed his fucking nose all over it, bro. Oh. Dude, they hate this thing. I just can't get him to hit the hooks. This is like a small needle nose, bro. This one will never be able to bite my hooks. They're so big. All right, I'm gonna have to change the hooks out. I didn't want to have to do it, but I'm changing the hooks out. Oh, one. Seems like Gar is what we're after today only, huh? Just letting this wake bait basically do its little walking. When you throw it out there, it has a very, very loud knocker. And uh, I think it just naturally sounds like a, a fish dying on top. I've used multiple colors, blacks, whites. They typically seem to go after, there we go, another one. Oh, he spit it out. That's why you got to let your drag loose on him. <laughs> Anyways, get my liver back here in a sec. Explain. I've tried white and I've tried black. I've tried other colors. White always seems to do the best against Gar. I'm not sure why it does, though. And then we put some scent stick on here, actually. Some shad um, scent stick. So that way it smells like an actual fish. It tastes like an actual fish. And when these guys blow up on it like they just did, they think it's a dying fish just out there kind of twitching out on top of the water. So we're just going to keep walking around this area trying to target these guys. Another key thing that we did was put on, there's another one, put on smaller hooks. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Got yep. Sure. Yeah. Nah, yeah, if you want. Hold on. Oh, he spit it. He spit it. I was going to flip him, but he spit it. That's the thing is you got to, like, let these fish fight themselves out. 
or else they, they get airborne. And once they get airborne, forget about it. Forget about it. So that's two hookups like right away. This is a, yeah, exactly. We found out a little technique. He's small though, I doubt he'll. Oh, yep, yep, we got one. Yep, we got him. We got him. I'm all tangled up in this tree, though. There it goes. Dang, he got stuck in this tree last second. Let him swim out, I'm gonna let him swim out. Swim this way, buddy. Yeah, he came out at last second and got it. I don't even know how I'm gonna get him. Bow flip, baby. No, there's no way, you think? I'll go down there and get him. Here, just wrap a, a belt around him and bring him up. Put your foot inside that branch to the left of you. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Oh, grab him by the pit. Don't get hooked, don't get hooked. You need my belt? Oh. Here, just bring him up, lift him up, lift him up, lift him up, lift him up, bank him, bank him. Oh, shit. Hold on, no, 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 don't hit me, don't get me, don't get me. Don't get me, don't get me. Pull, 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 you got him. I told you to get my belt, bro. I know, but we have no time. We just got our first freaking gar. Bryce got in the water for it. I'm gonna take my belt off just so we can grab this thing the right way. Hold on a sec. Where are the flyers? I got him, I got him. Oh. You don't see me over here crocodile huntering this guy. Guys, what a hell of a day. Finally got ourselves our first fish on the deck. It is probably about a three or four foot gar. Pretty stinky, needle nose, very, very sharp teeth, strong fighting fish. These things are pretty much solid muscle. One hell of a fight. I'm ready to get him back on the water. I don't know if you guys can tell I'm exhausted just from fighting that thing, getting him off the bank. He sounds pretty exhausted too, and just trying to get that hook out of his mouth. You ready to go, buddy? Whoo! First one. Let's freaking go, man. I'm so exhausted right now. Yeah, get that girl. All right, guys, we are gonna call it now. The day is coming to an end. It's been. An extremely long day, extremely hot day, extremely rough day out here on the water, but we managed to get one gar on the land, uh, hooked up to I think maybe four or five in total, and we didn't actually get any uh, any big fish on the crawfish, unfortunately. Bryce just tossed those guys in the water. Um, so there will be some chum here for next time, and hopefully that will bring the catfish. But today we got out here with that Speed Demon, that GT, and uh, really just hammered down those gar with that, that walking uh, little pencil bait. One thing I will say guys, if y'all are interested in trying to catch fish like this, that pencil bait, that walking bait, stick baits like that, they work great. You might just want to downsize and also downsize those hooks and uh, you'll definitely increase that hookup ratio. You just got to kind of let them fight a little bit, open up that drag and uh, tire themselves out before you try to muscle them up or unfortunately they'll just kind of shake it. But that is going to be it for today guys. Hopefully you had fun watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about this casking gear and how to catch some river monsters and we'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.